it. So I washed a little bit more of the sears. Really didn't do a whole lot. I tried to wash inside of there. But anyways, so I thought I would do a few things on this today. I have to uh, grind off these little metal risers or whatever the Tecumseh was sitting on. That way I can put my uh, new engine up there flush against this plate here, bolted in. And in order to do that, I have to remove this uh, support that the original gas tank was on. So I'm gonna start with those and then after that I'm gonna be cutting this plate and fabricating something so then I can weld it up against the bottom of this battery tray and the belt tensioner will be independent. Then all I really have to do is throw that engine on and see if it works. I bet that is probably the maybe the tenth time that I have cut that off. And as you can see, I've gotten used to it. When I first started doing that, it did not look good at all. So I'm going to grind this down so no one gets cut on it. Grind the rest of this down so it looks a little better and it's more flush. Then I'm going to take this plate off and I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to start lining up where I want to weld it underneath there. this clamped in a vise the way you're supposed to. At least I'm recording so the ER nurse has something to look at. So the reason that I ground some of this paint off is so then it welds a little bit better when you put it under there. Probably should have done that right there. Look.
like that. So it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm pretty sure this little tab has to go. And I don't even need the spring hooked up. A lot easier to line it up when you don't have that on there. And I'm trying to remember how I did this. that easy folks anybody who has this issue with the sear it's a pain but Well, the battery is dying, so I'm going to go from here, but I'll keep you updated. That's pretty much as good as it's going to get. It's in there well enough. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. Let this uh, camera charge for a while and see how far I get. Welcome back. I have my camera charged. So basically all I've done is... Obviously, I put the engine on there, and I only did two bolts diagonally because um, I would like to paint this, so I don't need to do all four. Um, I did take the 73-inch belt. It actually might work out really well on this. Um, I just put it on there. There's no guards or anything in place yet. As you can see, the belt tensioner goes up really high. And so that's okay because if you put a smaller belt on, the belt is actually going to pull it downward and put, you know, tension on it. Because the spring doesn't look like it's doing much right now, but once the belt's tightened down, it'll look like that. And that spring will be putting pressure down on the back pulling the pulley up into the belt. So 
So actually, I think this tractor might have a little bit more uh, anti-slippage properties than that one. Because the belt is going to be really tight on there. But anyways, um, I guess after putting the engine on, with this stack on there, you have to have some kind of support right here. I drilled a little hole, and my homemade angle iron support will go right there. So I'm going to put that on right now. I just used this U-bolt. It's ugly, but it just keeps this from snapping off and breaking the, I don't know what you call that, a manifold or whatever. So I need to put that on. I have the flat idler pulley that needs to go on right here and it's adjustable. So I'll put that on. I have the belt guard that goes around the pulley on the transaxle. I need to put that on as well. So I'm gonna put those on and honestly this engine should fire right up. And I should be able to drive it. Um, I have been looking at this because I was thinking of a way to do a throttle cable. It's a long story, but basically, even though I bought this engine new, somebody else had actually bought it from me, turned it into a racing engine, and then I bought it back from them. And they completely screwed up all the throttle stuff and they bypassed the governor and whatnot. So I, I don't even have the little components in here to, uh, you know, cinch down the throttle cable to get this stuff to work right. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. All right, that took way longer than it should have. I got metal shavings. Okay, here's what's going on with this. And I totally forgot about this. The last time that I made one of these homemade independent belt tensioners, I forgot that that flat idler pulley back there gets in the way of the spring and the end of the tensioner plate. I totally forgot about that. So, I can't adjust it all the way up because then it hits it hits the uh, end of the spring and the tensioner plate. So right now it's about halfway and I think the belt's still a little bit too tight, but I can't adjust it. I think what happened last time is that I drilled a hole over here somewhere away from this plate and I just moved this flat idler over. I remember doing that. So, right now, that's about as loose as it'll get. And I don't know if it's loose enough to fully disengage so the gears might grind a little bit. But, if the brake on this is good enough, it'll actually, when you hold the brake, it'll hold the belt steady so it should be able to shift but anyway we'll start it up and see
sure runs good. The uh, flat idler pulley, I drilled a new hole and moved it. So you can get it in gear now, but you got to do it swiftly. Otherwise it grinds a little bit if you're too slow, but I don't know. I might have to get a 74 inch belt. Not sure, <clears throat> but it runs good. And the throttle deal here I need to fix because it's all goofed up. It doesn't stay if you try to idle it up like that's full throttle. That's idle. If you try to move it, it just goes back to, so. And usually, if you just tighten this nut, it'll stay, but I think it's so old that it's not, not doing what it's supposed to. It needs work, but at least it drove today. Not having any luck with the simplicity running right now, so. At least something ran. Alrighty, thanks for watching.